Hi and welcome to this big picture tutorial. In this video, I will show you how you can track capacity in a big picture as there are different ways to do that. First, let's have a look at the administration. Here you can create a workload and holiday plans, which will be the basis for capacity calculation. The workload plan determines the hours available each day and the holiday plans and absences will be the non-working days. The capacity in a given time period is calculated as the difference between working and non-working days. Each person or JIRA user can be assigned to multiple plans in the resource manager in Big Picture, yet the app admin security role is required to do that. Users can submit their absences directly in their profiles. Please note that a user account can also represent a non-human resource such as a tool, a piece of equipment or a facility. The calculated capacity is displayed in Gantt, Resources and Board modules. The Gantt module shows the capacity indirectly using color coding, with red meaning over allocation. The numbers indicate the sum of all efforts that have been assigned to a specific user, or have been left unassigned. You can express the effort using the original estimate or remaining estimate and time spent. The Gantt shows time units only. The Resources module provides more information about the workload and capacity. Here you will find different views and effort modes. The capacity is shown in the bottom row below the remaining capacity and workload. Click the view drop-down to choose which information you want to see on the resource grid. You can switch between the individual and team-centric views. The capacity of the team is equal to the sum of capacities of its members. To manage a team, use the Teams module. Each team member has a membership, which you can edit to modify the capacity of both the team and the individual member in the current project. You can also switch to story point effort mode and convert the capacity expressed in time units to story points using the conversion ratio. Keep in mind that this view is filter sensitive, so you can apply the quick filters to, for example, plan high priority items first. With version 8.1 of Big Picture, you can use the scenario mode in the resources module and create different scenarios to find the optimal one and then update your Jira work items by selecting Merge in the scenario drop-down. The board module has additional capacity planning screen. The default capacity values are the same as in the resource module, but you can override them easily. Just double-click on the values to edit. You can set the capacity for each of the members or for the whole team. To display the capacity, click the View drop-down and select Totals Capacity. The Planned versus Capacity ratio is now displayed for each time box for each team. Warning will appear when the capacity is exceeded so that you can easily spot the team which needs your attention. Thank you for watching and make sure to check out our other Big Picture and Big Gantt tutorials on our YouTube channel.